so today we're going to learn how to draw an owl wife. The directions for this drawing are available on our website. Um, the first thing we need to do is take notice of the size of the head from the mouth to the operculum, which is the gill cover. Uh, there are five head lengths in the overall body of the fish. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, down to the tip of the tail. All right, so what we're going to start with is we are going to draw the top of the fish starting at the mouth first. And as you can see, it gradually comes up and it peaks just a little bit before halfway. This would be about halfway. And then it slowly comes down and then the tail swoops out. So let's give it a try. Get the tail in there. And if you're not happy with that, just go over it. All right, now we're gonna get the bottom part in. Kind of swoops up just past halfway, comes in a little bit of an angle towards the anal fin and then back out at the tail has got kind of like a little little point to it and comes curves in a little and then there's like this little divot in here in the tail and it comes back out points away all right so we got the bottom in now let's go ahead and put where the operculum would be and it should be about right about here Okay, so now let's go ahead and draw in the mouth parts. So, if you notice, the top lip is a little bit shorter than the bottom lip, and it's much thicker, much wider. So I'm just kind of measuring out how big I think it's going to be in relation to where this line is, so. And as you go along, you can adjust things. That's why we have erasers. Okay, so we got the mouth parts on. Now we're going to draw in the eye. And the eye, we're gonna put just about right here. It's close to the top and it's close to the mouth. Okay, so now we've got our lips in, our eye, and now we need to start working on our fins. So first we're going to place in the dorsal fin, and the dorsal fin, the back end of the dorsal fin, is just about in line with the middle of the fish, so just about here. So that bottom back end, and then it protrudes out from there. up on an angle, goes down. Okay, so now we've got in the dorsal fin. Now let's go ahead and draw in the pelvic fin, which is just in line, the front of it is just in line with the front of this, um, the dorsal fin. So we've got the pelvic fin kind of fans out. Coral fin in. Okay, so now you've got the basic outline of the fish. What we're going to do next is you can add in more detail and you can go ahead and add in the scales if you would like, um, and do some shading. So I'm just gonna go ahead and darken up the eye here. Just 
gonna go back and fine tune everything, darken it up, add some shading. Your finger makes a great shading tool. Using the edge of my pencil to help with the shading and you have your eraser, great for adding highlights and obviously fixing things that need to be fixed. And really depends on how much time you want to spend on this, uh, how detailed you want to get in it. Alright, so the top of the fish becomes a little dark, a little bit darker than the bottom. And that's to help hide when there's predators from above. They're darker on the top, so when they're looking down into the water, it's harder to see them. It's the same thing if you're coming from the bottom, the fish is usually white because the sky is lighter on the other side of the water. All right, so I'm just gonna add in my shading. And then if I want, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna start adding in all of these Consuming. So you're just kind of overlapping them. And you continue all the way through the rest of the fish, how, however detailed you want to get. And there you have it, it's done. <laughs> Spend as much time as you want on this, or as little time. Um, you know, you can really get into shading each and every single one of these um, scales if you wanted to. Use your eraser. Got this nice little gummy eraser. Works well for small little areas. And there you have it.